Hi, I'm Mark, and I collect things. Sometimes I haven't played things, and today we're opening a box of 2024 Top Star Wars Chrome Sapphire, which celebrates the 25th anniversary of Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Each of these hobby-exclusive boxes have 8 packs per box, with 4 cards per pack, and there should be 4 numbered cards in every box. Autographs are kind of tough to pull, I think they're about 1 per case. I'll include a link to both the checklist and the published pack odds in the description of this video. This box art featuring Darth Maul is pretty neat. I kind of hate to open it up, but we are definitely going to get in here and rip open these packs. Let's go ahead and check it out and see what the cards are like. Got the packs at the very bottom of the box here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all eight packs. All right, here is pack number one out of eight. First card of the pack is Boarding the Queen Starship. The sapphire effect is very cool, and it looks like it doesn't completely overpower the background like it did in Return of the Jedi. Next card is Duel Beneath the Palace. Take a look at the back of a card real quick. The card number is at the top. There's the name of the card, and then a little bit of text about it. All right, next card of the pack, The Will of the Force. And the final card. It's upside down, maybe an insert of some sort. Pushed off the track by Sebulba. And this must be one of the inserts, PR-6. Probably a pod racing insert set. All right, pack number two. Looks like we have a low numbered colored parallel here at the back of the pack that's backwards. I'll flip that one around real quick. Right at the top of the pack, On the Run in the Swamp. The Trade Federation's Mysterious Conspirator. Next card is Chancellor Valorum's True Allegiance. And then for this colored parallel, the Droid Army Deactivated. There at the Gungans, pretty funny card. And this is numbered 4 out of 10. Nice low numbered card, pretty cool. Card number 90 out of the set. And I think this is a black parallel. Set this one down for a sleeve. All right, pack number three. We should find at least four numbered cards per box. Already found one of them so far. The Queen's Plea to the Senate. Next base card is Now You Can Make Your Dreams Come True, Annie. After that one, Ascending the Palace Walls. And the last card of the pack, a Duel of the Fates insert card. This one is DF-1. All right, pack number four. It looks like our numbered card is backwards again. Seems to have gotten a purple in this pack. Base card on the top of the pack is the Gungans Mobilize. Anakin Skywalker's Hiding Spot. The Jedi and their Navigator. And then for the colored card, a purple out of 125 dispatching the Seeker Droids. I do believe this is Darth Maul there on the left. All right, pack number five. Peace and prosperity to the Republic. Watto's junk shop. Repairs for Anakin's pod racer. And then another insert. Freed from Watto. I think this is one of the pod racing inserts. PR-10. Here's pack number six. If these packs follow the pattern, this one will have a numbered card. We'll see if it does or not. And it looks like it does because a card is backwards again. All right, the top of the pack is Padawan Anakin Skywalker. Next up is Darth Maul is sent to Tatooine. 
Our heroes encounter Darth Maul, pretty cool looking card. And then the numbered parallel is a gold out of 50. Swarms of droid starships, and this gold looks really good. Goes well with the border design of the card set. All right, pack number seven, I'm guessing this one will have an insert. Necessary repairs on Tatooine is the base card on the top of the pack. Next up is Jar Jar Binks' promotion. And crash landing into the droid ship hangar. Last card of the pack, which I'm expecting to be an insert, is a Duel of the Fates card. And I think this is the card image to get. What a cool looking card this is. Colored parallels of this would look really good. This one is DF-20. All right, last pack of the box, pack eight of eight. This should have another numbered insert. And it is backwards again. Looks like we got another gold card. The base card on the top of the pack is the Dark Lord's Political Tactics. The Banished One. The Gungans Arrive in Theed. Then the last numbered parallel, the Jedi make their way to the command deck. This one's actually out of 75, so not the same as the previous one we pulled. Maybe this is a yellow. Do a side-by-side -side comparison here. It's very difficult to tell these apart. I didn't study the checklist enough. I think this is a yellow, and I think the out of 50 is gold, but I could be wrong. All right, to recap the pulls from the video, half of the packs had an insert, two pod racing inserts, and two Duel of the Fates inserts. This one is definitely my favorite, that, that iconic image of Darth Maul. And we did get the four expected numbered parallels, so a purple out of 125. Got what I think is a yellow out of 75. A gold out of 50. This one's pretty cool. And then a black numbered out of 10. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this set and where you would rank episode 1 among all of the Star Wars movies. Overall, I think they're pretty nice and I think the Sapphire effect looks better than they did in the recent Return of the Jedi set. The price is a little steep at $300 and up, but I'm hoping that prices will come down over time. The Return of the Jedi Sapphire boxes have decreased in price significantly, so if you're considering picking these up at current prices, that's something you might want to keep in mind of. As always, picking up singles is probably the way to go, even though opening packs is a lot of fun and can provide some entertainment. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more collectible-related content, I encourage you to consider liking and subscribing. That would help out my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.